Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Ba Chen. I'm Nick Kong. I'm Ban Chan. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Chap. 14 sec, two of Jane Eyre, an autobiography. Ass. Ah. Jane Eyre, an autobiography. Shella Brunt. Tab. 14 sec, two. Abrupt. Perhaps exiting. Sometimes. On the grounds I stated. Namely. That I am old enough to be your father. As though through a varied experience with many men of many nations. Half the globe. Do as you please. That is no one, sir. Rather, it is a very irritating, because a very evasive one. Thank you. So, you have a right to commend me. Are older than I. I have. Alf. Promptly spoken. But I won't allow that. That it would never suit my case. As I have made an indifferent. Not to say about. Use of both advantages. The question. Then. Then. Without being piqued or hurt by the tone of command. I smiled. I thought to myself, Mr. Pays me thirty pounds sterling per annum for receiving his orders. Eh. Catching instantly the passing expression. I was thinking. So. Subordinates. What? You are my paid subordinate. Are you? Oh yes. I had forgotten the salary. Well then, on that mercenary ground, no, so, not on that ground, but, you did forget it, comfortable in his dependency, conventional forms and phrases, I am sure. Informality, for instance. One I rather liked. The. Humbug. Most things freeborn will submit to anything for a salary. The for. Keep to yourself. Intensely ignorant. However. I mentally shake hands with you for your answer. Despite its inaccuracy, and as much for the manner in which it was said, as for the substance of the speech, the manner was frank and sincere. One does not often see such a manner. No. On the contrary, affectation, or coldness, or stupid. The usual rewards of Kandor. Insert me as you have just done. But I don't mean to flatter you. If you are cast in a different mould to the majority. No merit of yours. Nature did it. And then. After all. I go fast in my conclusions. For what I yet know. Maybe no better than the rest. And so may you, I thought. My met is as the idea crossed my mind. The balance. And swing as if its import had been spoken as well as imagined. Yes. Yes. You are right, said he. Of my own. I know it. 
and I don't wish to palliate them. I assure you. God wot I need not be too severe about this. I have a past existence. A series of deeds. Life to contemplate within my own breast. Sisters from my neighbours to myself. I started. Difficultus. Was thrust onto a wrong tack at the age of one and twenty. Never recovered the right course since. I might have been very different. I might have been as good as you with some lost to stainless. Peace of mind. Your clean conscience. Your unpolluted memory. Little girl. Refreshment. How was your memory when you were 18? Alright then. Then bitch. Soul brace. No gush of bilge water had turned it to fitted puddle. I was your equal at 18, quite your equal. Nature meant me to be. And the whole. A good man. Miss Arrow. Bit of kind. And you see I am not so. Don't see it. I bore you. By the by. What you express with that organ? I said in her putting its language. Then take my word for it, I am not a villain. You are not to suppose that in a tribute to me any such bad eminence. But. When. I verily believe. Natural bent. I am a trite commonplace sinner. Teddy this patience with which the rich and worth the try to put on life. You wonder that I have this to you. Ma. Acquaintances' secrets. People will instinctively find out. As I have done. It is not your forte to tell of yourself. Talk of themselves. They will feel. Do. Malevolent scorn of their indiscretion. But with a kind of innate sympathy. Do you know? How can you guess all this? I know it well. I proceed almost as freely as if I were writing my thoughts in a diary. You would say. I should have been superior to circumstances. Schultz, so I should. But you see, I was not. One fate wrong in me. I had not the wisdom to remain cold. I turned to spirit. I degenerated. Anne. Ribaldi. I cannot flatter myself that I am better than he. Forced to confess that he and I are on a level. Had stood from God knows I do. Dread remorse when you are tempted to err. Miss Arrow. Repentance is said to be its cure. Its cure. Reformation may be its cure. Here for that of but where is the use of thinking of it? I'm what? Burdened. Cursed as I am. Besides. Since happiness is irrevocably denied me. I have a right to get pleasure out of life. Eh. Then you will degenerate still more. Possibly. Yet why should I? If I can get sweet. Fresh pleasure. They do. How do you know? You never tried it. You looked. Taking one from the mantelpiece. You have no right to preach to me. You neophyte. That have not passed the porch of life. You have your own words. There. You said air brought remorse. Who talks of her now? 
brain was in error. I believe it was an inspiration rather than a temptation. It was very genial. Very soothing, you know that. Here it comes again. It is no devil. I assure you. Or if it be. It is put on the robes an angel of light. Distrust it. Though. Once more. How do you know? I judged by your countenance. So, which was troubled when you said the suggestion had returned upon you. Not at a lipper is the most gracious message in the world. Et. You are not my conscience keeper. So don't make yourself uneasy. Yeah. Come in. He said this as if he spoke to vision. Feels to any eye by his own. Then, folding his arms, he had half extended on his chest, embraced the invisible being. Now he continued, again addressing me, the pilgrim a disguised deity, as I verily believe. I did. My heart was a sort of charnel. To speak truth. Though. I don't understand you at all. I cannot keep up the conversation. Because it has got out of my depth. Only one thing. I know. You said you were not as good as you should like to be. And that you regretted your own imperfection don't think I can comprehend. To have a sullied memory was a perpetual bane. It seems to me that if you tried hard, what you are so far would prove. Resolution to correct your thoughts and actions. Made up a new and stainless story of collections. Justly thought. Idly said. Miss Arrow. And uh, at this moment, intentions, which I believe durable as flint, certainly, as poor as then followed us, you seem to doubt me, then doubt myself. I know what my aim is, what my motives are, and at this moment I pass a law, Medes and Persians. They cannot be. So. They are. Messer. Though they absolutely require a new statute. That sounds a dangerous maxim. Though. Sententious age. So it is. I am. Of any strange. Let it be right at then I said, as I rose, which was all darkness to me, and uh, besides, of my interlocutor was beyond my penetration, at least beyond its present reach, and feeling the uncertainty. The vague sense of insecurity. Conviction of ignorance. To put Ada to bed. You are afraid of me. Your language is enigmatical. There. But though I am bewildered. There, there. It would be in such a grave. Quiet manner. Mistake it for sense. Do you never laugh? Miss Sir? You're self to answer we see you laugh really. But you can laugh very merrily. Believe me. You are not naturally austere. 
Vicious. The load constraint still clings to you somewhat. Controlling your features. Muffling your voice. And restricting your limbs. Of a man and a brother father. Oh master. Smile too gaily. Speak too freely. Oh move too quickly. But. Entain. I think you will learn to be natural with me. I find it impossible to be conventional with you. Movements have more vivacity and variety than they dare offer now. A cage. A village. Restless. Resolute captive is there. But free. It would soar cloud eye. It has struck nine. A minute. Ethel is not ready to go to bed yet. My position. Messer. With my back to the fire. The room. Favours observation. While talking to you. The. Eh. That I shall. Impart to you some day. Pulled out of her box. About ten minutes ago. Rocked. Rapture lit her face as she unfolded it. Blood. Blends with her brains. And seasons the marrow of her bones. Oh fuck what you'll see. Cried she. Out of the room. She is now with Sophie. Undergoing a roving process. In a few minutes she will enter. See a miniature of kind Varens. The rising of but never mind that. However. Receive a shock. Such is my presentiment. Stay now. Very long. Atlas' little foot was heard tripping across the hall. She entered. Her guardian had predicted. A dress of rose coloured satin. Very sharp. As full on the skirt as it could be gathered. She had previously worn. A wreath of rose but circled her forehead. Were dressed in silk stockings and small white satin sandals. Eyeing, cried she, bounding for words. It must Saliers, it must Baz, Dennis, and spreading out her dress, she chased across the room to having reached Mr. Rochester. She would lately round before him on tiptoe. Then drop on one knee at his feet, exclaiming, Nazir, first of Archibald, then rising. She added, Memon face eight, Espas. Precisely was the answer, and she charmed my English gold out of my British breeches pocket. Rained. Messiah Grass green Freshens you know then once fresh My spring is gone However But it has left me that French flourish on my hands We shall Some moods I would fain be rid of Whence it sprang Gold is good manure. I have but half a liking to the blossom. Especially when it looks so artificial as just now. It rather on the Roman Catholic principle of expating numerous sins. Great or small. To be continued.